Hello, this is Dan, and welcome to Siberia 2! Wow. So, we finished Siberia 1, and I'm supposing that's why you're here for Siberia 2, which is going to be a great fun. I've been playing some uh, third-person shooter type games, some pretty creepy. Um, yeah, so I think something a little lighthearted and a little bit slower paced and methodical would be a nice break. So here we are with Siberia 2. Uh, I would I would normally give a recap, but there's a Siberia recap here, so why don't we just watch this for a sec? The financial law firm Marson and Lormont were just doing the legwork for a big homegrown multinational. They sent their best corporate attorney, Kate Walker, to Europe to negotiate the takeover of the Foralberg Automaton and Mechanical Toy Factory. Kate slinked into the village of Aladilene, deep in the French Alps. She reckoned on 48 hours to close the deal. But then, nobody had reckoned on there being an heir. Hans Vorarlberg, a mysterious character, had disappeared years earlier. Kate had to find him. Without his signature, the deal was off. She checked out the abandoned factory and met the latest generation of automaton. He called himself Oscar and claimed to be the engineer of the crazy locomotive in the station. So Kate decided to hop on, hoping the train and its wheelman could take her to their maker, Hans Vorlberg. Ignoring the warnings of her friends and the threats of her boss, she takes off on a bizarre journey rolling from station to station further and further towards the east. On the trail of Hans Vorlberg's past, Kate's route is littered with his crazy inventions and the recollections of people who had come across the little madcap guy. She finds out that he was a creative genius. Piece by piece, she put together the puzzle of Hans's life and discovered the reason for his flight northwards through the Russian interior towards the myth of the last surviving mammoths. West to east across Europe, Traveling along the battle scars of the 20th century, Kate finally collars her man, Hans Vorlberg. Time, though, had caught up with him first. He is old and tired, yet his wildest dreams shine on. Apparently, Kate Walker has bid farewell to her old life and decided to follow Hans Vorlberg to the end of his personal rainbow, right to the legendary island of Siberia. Wow, that was a very well done uh, recap of the previous game's story. And we're back at a, a point where we can start the game now, so let's do it, shall we? Let's go! Have you heard anything about Kate Walker? No, sir. Nothing yet. She should have been back in New York several weeks ago. Wow! I'm afraid she's too far gone. We're losing her. What? She ain't gonna be coming back. Call her! Siberia is an island. An island lost in the ocean. People say Siberia doesn't exist, but people are so wrong. The wow, island so is covered old. in the tallest grass. Strange grass that grows through the snow. Mammoths eat it all the time. They're always hungry. Hans. You must rest now. You have a very high fever. Take me to Siberia, Kate Walker. Mammoths, Siberia, all that. It's just a dream, a kid's dream. Promise me, Kate. She's not replying to her messages, sir. Try again, damn it, try again! Hello, Miss Walker? Just a moment, please. I... Give me that. Kate? Come on now, pet, answer me. I understand your last mission was a hassle for you. But you know, the company has ways of showing its gratitude. Kate, it's time for you to come home now. Your place is here, in New York. Your job is here. Your friends are here. Your life. Kate? Kate? Kate Walker! Yeah, she's done I with that. I promise, her. Hans Varlberg. We're going to Siberia. Wow. 
Wow, what a way to start the game. I am very excited to be back, and I am very happy to be here. Wow, th the graphics are... everything's much more detailed than the last time we were here. Wow, it's incredible. Hans's cylinder machine. Something else he slapped together since we came on board. <laughs> hmm, Hans's mammoth doll. I bet Hans is back here, tinkering. Yeah, there he is! It's the man, the lit, the myth, the legend, the guy we've been searching all of last game for. And I don't even know how Kate feels right now. In the last game, she was being stepped on by her boss all the way. She had all these people that just like... They just didn't seem to be very supportive of her, and you know, her fiance Dan ended up cheating on her with her best friend, who had, for a long time had a crush on him. And yeah, I think Kate just said, "You know what? I'm done with that life. I need to move on to something uh, different." And I think it's it's very endearing that she chose to go and help this little man here, this little old man, fulfill his dream of going to Siberia and seeing mammoths? Crazy. So crazy, especially after the events of the last game. Hi. Hello there, Kate Walker. You know what? I'm so happy to be here, to follow you in pursuit of- My dreams are now your dreams, Kate Walker. What is causing the- uh, the, the speed up in the speech. I don't mean to get personal, but don't you think that this journey is going to be a bit tough for a man your age? I am going to Siberia, Kate Walker. End of discussion. You do understand. When are we leaving again? I want to leave as quickly as possible, but it's Oscar who decides. He's the master of the train. Oh man, Oscar! Oh, I'm noticing that uh, things are getting taken off the uh, the list here as we go along. That's different. Hans, where are we? Somewhere on the way to Siberia. Is it still far? Pretty much. What? <sighs> Nobody's ever seen this island. No explorers ever talked about it. And well, it's not on any map, Hans. I know Siberia exists, Kate Walker. Just, uh, something I had to come to grips with with this game, uh, especially in the last one, is there are two Siberias. There's the Siberia as we know it in the real world today, and in this game that is spelt S-I-B-E-R-I-A, and the Siberia that he's talking about where the mammoths are, this island, that's S-Y-B-E-R-I-A. So... If you're, if you come across a, a point where they're talking about Siberia, please look at the subtitles and see which one they're talking about. Because um, when I was rewatching myself play the game for my let's my let's play, that is something I had to catch up on and uh, figure out for myself so that I uh, better understood the story. Do you think that the train can go much further? There's more and more snow, and the cold is biting. I designed and built it, Kate. You did remember to wind it. No, not yet. Then get it wound and let's be off. Now I know where Oscar gets his, uh... His see you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. Never mind, though. He's He seems like a sweet old man. And, you know, he's, like, got a, a mental capability issue, so we can only be so tough on him, right? The train looks so different now. Like, this this space looks a lot wider. And there's so much more detail than the last game. Mom? Hello? Kate Walker? This is Oscar calling. Your Oscar? <laughs> You're using a telephone? Mr. Foroberg has, in effect, jerry-rigged me something very approximative, inspired by your own miniature device. Mr. Foroberg is such a repository of knowledge. 
I am calling to inform you that we have arrived at the station. Great. Which station's that? The station is located in the town of Romansburg, Kate Walker. Okay. I'm gonna go snoop around. Do be careful, Kate Walker. Always am, Oscar. Wow, that's great. I don't know how he did that with uh, gears and stuff like that, because that's that's what he's supposed to be doing. Oh, we can go in this door now? <gasps> it was a bathroom all along. Oscar had been standing in front of this door for so long, I wondered what it was. It's a little chilly to be taking a shower. Thanks all. <laughs> well, you know, it's been a long trip. You should have been able to use the bathroom, Kate. But maybe you did on along the way. But, you know, after a long trip, a nice shower helps a lot. It wash away the uh, the travel. Oh, she walks so much faster now. Hello. Oh, you dropped something. Welcome to Romansburg. The last town before the vast, wild, glacial wastes of the tundra. Retired Colonel Emilioff Lupachev, guardian of the Imperial Marches and a general store manager at your service, miss. How may I? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the frontier town of Romansburg, oh, gateway to the tundra, the last moves. town before the vast plains of the I frozen might as well wastes. Be a snowman. <laughs> what a welcome. <laughs> he wanted to be the one to do the welcoming, but uh, I guess that thing uh, beat him to it. That's that's too bad. I think he was just, I think he just wanted a, uh, uh, you know, something to do, maybe, because he looks like he's probably disabled. Not only does he have uh, one... Uh, prosthetic, but he also has a cane. So I don't know how much heavy lifting work he does. Something that's nice new in this game is uh, uh, when the cursor moves over an area to transition, it shows you the direction in which you're transitioning. That helped a lot. Um, if you watch my last playthrough when we were in Komkosgrad, no, not Komkosgrad, uh, Barakstock University, I missed a I missed the total whole area that was really important, and I missed it because I didn't know. Oh, candy. Oh, candy. Oh, candy. Okay, I guess we're not doing anything here yet. Um, let's go talk to him. General store manager. Um, uh, good day to you, sir. My name is Kate Walker. I... Oh, you're American, aren't you? An American in a hole like this. Don't see that every day. Well, I am Colonel Emilioff. I am, in my capacity, in charge of the administration of this jurisdiction. Oh, he's got a pretty good accent there. All right, let's introduce we ourselves. We just arrived by train. What an intriguing town. I'm impatient to visit it, Colonel. There's not really much to see. There's this and that, but really there's just white, infinite white, like a desert blurring into the sky. Nothing but white till you reach the furthermost tip of the frozen Russian hinterland. Welcome to the last bastion of civilization, ma'am. Wow. So this is the last place before we go into a whole bunch of tundra. But we are, like, really north of Russia, it sounds like. So, yeah, we're really, we're really far along, but Hans said that we're f still far away. Oh, I'm really enjoying this camera angle change with some of these conversations. Keeps it interesting. My friend who's with me came by here once. His name's Hans Varlberg. You don't know him, do you? I haven't been here for long. Oh. New guy, I guess. We're going to keep on going, pushing northeast. A great journey to an improbable place. 
I actually think I'm just keeping an old man company in pursuit of his final dream. Ah, people like you, Miss Walker, end up never going home. Yeah, it feels like uh, in those old epic poems, uh, like like in the Odyssey, uh, this stuff happens along the way. You get sidetracked, and like you said, you never go home. I feel like that's Kate. She's she's really nice. She stops and helps all these people. Sometimes she's a little gullible, and uh, yeah, she's just helping everybody to get along to do what she needs to, but. She never complains. She's very positive on that. Tell me, Colonel, are there a lot of trains that pass through here? Not really. But then I've not been here for long. Then I guess that right. wasn't really I'll much of I'll leave you to answer. get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. Yeah, it's a very, very, like, slow, sleepy town. Oh, she still runs. Very nice. Alright, here's the back of the train. Is this how we wind up the train? What does that do? Huh. Nothing I can do. All right, so it's locked. We need something. Oh, there's a guy down here. Did you see him? What's over here? What's this thing do? Oh, is that for supplies? It's not right with this machine. Is that for supplies or something? Huh. Okay. Well, I guess we'll keep on going and see what we find. Oh, it's Oscar! Look, he's got a little, like, scarf and everything. And earmuffs? <laughs> what a strange town. What do you make of it, Oscar? Trains should never have to stop. I simply don't like stations, Kate Walker. Nor the towns around them. That's a little bit of a generalization. The whole town is lugubrious. And I don't like these houses underneath the rails. To me, they spell T-R-O-U-B-L-E. We have to be very careful. Uh-huh, still the same old scaredy cat. <laughs> I cannot change my design, Kate Walker. But to be fair, Kate, it, uh, like, th it's been through some stuff. Like, for example, when we left Comcosgrad and there was explosions everywhere, I think that would be cause for concern. I think it'd be, it would have been great if he had gloves, too. That way, if we ever came across the guy like in Comcosgrad like we did last time, wouldn't steal his hands because he's got the gloves on. Sometimes I say to myself I should just go back to New York. Do you miss it, Kate Walker? I don't know. I don't think you will ever return home, Kate Walker. It is too late now. Oscar, how come you're programmed for psychology all of a sudden? Yeah, that's a good question. It's very interesting that he's talking Hans about that isn't looking now. so great. Don't you think? Oh, no, While don't say that. his passion is strong, his wheel work is worn, Kate Walker. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. I really, I, I honestly, heartfelt, really hope that we get him to the final destination. He's, he's been trying to get there all his life. I really, I really hope he gets there before he passes on, man. Do you think that we're any nearer to our goal, Oscar? It is getting colder. That much is certain. Personally, I have no particular goal, Kate Walker. But the train and myself have not been designed to function forever. I would be grateful if you could talk about this matter with Mr. Forelberg, at him alone, if you please. Huh. Okay. I wonder what that means for Oscar. Oscar, is your train in a fit state to carry on with the journey? What are you suggesting, Kate Walker? 
I take the greatest care of it. Yes, I know, Oscar. But I was just thinking that with this rude climate... It is designed to resist just such conditions, Kate Walker. You simply have to wind it up. And you weren't thinking by any chance of taking charge of that yourself? My wheelwork is complex and fragile. It is poorly adjusted for the rigors of winter, Kate Walker. <laughs> now there's a surprise. That's the Oscar I know and love. <laughs> oh, it's so good to be back in this game again. I love it. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. Uh, I started doing that with my wife. Just uh, say something, something, and then just go, Kate Walker. <laughs> Wind it up. Uh, Oscar, we need this thing open. Oh, uh, never mind. I think I wind it out. And there's a lever behind Kate right there. Right here. I think this is supposed to open it and actually do the winding. There we go. Alright, so train is wound up. Uh, there's nothing else on this side here. Alright, so he mentioned we should go talk to um, Hans, per like, uh, privately. So, we'll let's see how that goes. But, oh, the poor old man. I feel bad, man. Let's talk about Oscar. Hans? Yes, Kate? Oh, this is not an option. Hans, why are you so eager to find Siberia? I don't know, Kate. I've been looking for it for so long. <coughs> Aww. My dude. We're ready. The train has been wound. Very good. Now we just need coal. Oh. I'm sorry. Coal? Yes, coal. We need coal. For later. Hm. I'll go see what I can do. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. Maybe the coal isn't for the train, but maybe for the warmth that, you know, because humans are on the train and all. Oh, but poor old man, he's on his way out and... He just recently learned that his sister's gone, one that he loves so much, and yeah, it's just, ah, oh, my goodness. Let's see if we can ask this guy about this fence here. We need to be able to open it. Looks Colonel like Emilyov. Ah, Miss Walker. Yes, we can ask him about both. Colonel, my train needs coal to continue my journey. Do you know where I can find some? There's a dispenser outside. Feel free to fill her up, Miss Walker. Courtesy of the state. Wow. Is that because it's communist? Tell me, Colonel, why is there a gate blocking off the staircase leading to the lower part of the town? Low down is low down, and high up is high up. People who are low down got different points of view from those who are high up. Different kettle, different fish. If you get my meaning, Miss Walker. Interesting. Okay. But that doesn't say much to me at all. We're going to Siberia, an island far across the Russian continent. It's one long journey. We're going to need plenty of material. What do you think? Siberia Island? Never heard of it. I never said it was an island. I'm in no position to advise you, I'm afraid. It seems nice enough, though. There aren't any other travelers just passing through here? Passing through to where, Miss Walker? After this stop, there's nowhere left to go. And for a train that gets wound up, what? what right. is... Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. 
Not much left to get on with. What is the intent, uh, once there are no more stations, to wind the train up with? What was this? What's this? Oh, key. That's probably the key that opens up the, um, uh, the gate. Looks like he's fixing the candy machine. Candy Roth. 625122. Let me see if I can call that. Oh, man. I forgot the number already. 625122. 625122 cent. Thank you for calling Candy Roth. Our offices are closed for the winter season, but we'll be delighted to deal with your order at the Thaw. In the meantime, why not try our delicious Hoing Ing, the bite sized Asian fish candy with the sugary taste? Or our hazelnut stuffed Klondikes. Or even our Canadian specialty, Honey Katalas. All of those sounded really weird. Um, but, you know what? I'm not food shaming. Not food shaming. I'm just like, they're very weird for me. Maybe wherever you come from, uh, they're, they're, it's not weird, but it's just different for me. I feel like we should buy some stuff, like food or something, right? I mean, you gotta have, you gotta eat where you're going. Right, use the key. Oh, it doesn't go there. Huh. Okay. Could have sworn it would have gone there. What? Still, what does this do? Hmm. Let's go back this way. We'll check out the uh, coal dispenser. Once again. Yeah, there's something wrong with it's it. not right with this machine. Hmm. There was nothing out here, so I feel like there's gotta be something with that s with his store because the key didn't work in the gate, or it, it didn't say it would work with the gate. I just try it one more time before I go back in. Okay, so grab the key, and yeah, it's not slotting in, so that's got to be used somewhere else then. Let me see if there's something in the shop that can be opened with it. I mean, it did come from the shop. Uh, let's check these out. Oh, maybe we can open up the candies. Yeah, there we go. Nothing in there. Yeah, nothing in there. Oh, got change. This thing's... This thing's... I wonder why I got stuck. This thing's... I'll need some change. Oh, okay. Nothing I can do. Let's see. Open that. Oh, in order to get the keep back, it closes. Okay. So, let's try the coins. I have no idea how much to put in. Twenty? No. Um, a 50? Uh, 
Hmm. Hundred? No. Interesting. Are all these different? Let me. I'm just gonna try them real quick. I don't have any additional information. Oh, whoa, whoa, we got the candy. Okay, cool. Got candy. I, I honestly wasn't taking notice of what was getting used, so I apologize. I'm just kind of going through it right now. My assumption is we need each of the types of different candies. There we go. Thank you. I think none of these will work. Yeah, none of them work. That's why they all appeared down here at the bottom in the first place. No, wait. They would have appeared here if it didn't work. This this machine should have been able to take all of them. Unless you have to... This thing's... Hmm. This thing's... Okay. Guess never mind. We'll figure out more later, I suppose. Check this thing again. Can't grab this tray. You can't grab the hammer. Yeah, it looks like it got smashed. Looks like there's something here, but cursor's not changing for it. Let me see if he has something really different to say. Colonel Emiliov. Ah. Nope, it's all the same. Right. Stuff. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. He sounds very unfortunate. Hmm. Interesting that there's a ladder here, and looks like what looks like piece of the ladder, but can't interact with that at all. Let's go outside. Okay, let's go have a talk with Oscar again. I think. Hmm. Oh, can I can talk to you? Hi, my name is Kate Walker. Hi, my name is Malka. That's a little girl. Oh. I'm Kate Walker, and you, uh, you are Malka who? Malka, just Malka. Interesting. Why is there a gate that stops us going any lower? It's not a gate that stops you going down. It stops people going up. Hmm. I see. The old colonel says that people down here are all low life. I'm going. I'll go see what I can do. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. Aww. That's sweet. But yeah, like, that's a very... Hmm. That's a very, uh... Different way of looking at the world. Like, high and low. Hmm. Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker. Uh, I think these are all the See same. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. I think we gotta go talk to that store manager again, the colonel. Maybe we have to convince him to open the gate. 
Because obviously we won't have the key for it. Uh, to be classist the lead. Colonel Emilyov. Ah, Miss Walker. Seemed like a decent dude, man, until now. Mm, how do I get down there then? Oh, not the most advisable of moves. All the undesirables on the plateau wash up in our little town sometime. And I'd rather any lowlife stay down low. I don't think I understand, Colonel. I'm just a soldier, Miss Walker. Carrying out the soldier's orders. Interesting. So does that mean... I need to contact someone to get you to change your mind? And how do I operate this uh, machinery? Just pull the handle, and the coal drops down all by itself. Automatic, see? Totally automatic. Uh, but it's broken. That coal machine doesn't seem to want to work. Ah. Uh, in that case, you're going to have to wait. Wait? How long? Uh, oh, a week. Maybe two. Maintenance doesn't come calling too often. Dude. Colonel. Would you have the key to the gate? Ah, uh, no. Not anymore. Must have lost it earlier, when I was wasting my time on that dang music machine. Who can say? Oh, I hey, did hear It isn't my something. fault. You being here has upset my usual timetable and general routine. If you hadn't been here, I wouldn't have gone out. And then I wouldn't have lost the key. Well, if that was the case, maybe you shouldn't have had a general store where there is no routine. Hmm? What do you say to that, so sir? So, you haven't got the key, then? Sorry to say. If I had it, I'd give it to you. A gate's made for opening, after all. And, of course, there's no double. Ah, got to wait for maintenance to make their call, Miss Walker. In a week or two. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. Yeah, he thinks gates are made for opening, except when it comes down to the low people. Right? Because he said that he put, like, the gates there to keep them out. He dropped the key around here, I believe. But... I can't seem to... Yeah, I'm sure when when the we came off the train, he dropped it as he like bent over on to mess with this machine. Maybe we can ask Malka and see if she found it. She's back. Hey little girl. Hi there. Oh, so you're still here then. Do you know who's got the key to the gate? If you give me a present, I'll tell you, Kate Walker. I'd love to, but you're down there and I'm up here. Well, you'll just have to find a present that comes from up there. Yeah, I've got candy. Malka, I think I've found what you're looking for. Throw it down, Kate Walker. Uh, but I don't know what she wants. Hi there. Yes, Kate. I got two pieces of candy. And I'm pretty sure she's going to want the third piece. Tell me right now what you want. It'll be much easier. I really want katalas, Kate Walker. They've got some in the shop. Katalas? What's that? Katalas. That's what they are. Candies. You don't know them? They're great. All right. So, katalas. I'm not sure. I'm going. That... I'll go see what I can do. I'll wait for you down below, Kate Walker. I think it's funny everybody calls her Kate Walker. <laughs> but that is how she introduces herself, so I guess I can't, I can't fault people for that. Let me see what these candies are, and then call that number again, and see what how if they fit in with that. So, oh wait. I, uh, Maybe just check in here. Sugar candy, fish candy. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know what she wants. 
I'm gonna assume the sugar candy. Let's just go with sugar candy. Kids love sugar, right? Okay, let's give her the sugar candy. Catch! You've only got one chance! Oh, she's gonna put it on the balloon. Uh, catch it! There you go. Alright, we got the gate key. Thank you, Malka. Much appreciated. Well, since we have the other candy, my assumption is we'll probably use it somewhere else. Unless, of course, the other candy is gone now that we've given her the sugar candy. Nope, we still got it. Small key, gate key. Here we go. Ha-ha! Oh, cool. It opens up both gates. Very nice. Kate Walker is in trouble. We've got to go look for her. Find someone. I don't know who. Someone spunky. Yes, sir. We've got Nick Canton, a detective. He's already worked on some tricky problems. He was good. Yeah. He might just be the ticket. Take care of it right now, John. Get him out there. Right, sir. Hell, what is going through that kid's head? Yeah. Hello, Canton? We've got a job for you, uh... How shall I put it? A special job. Man, what is it with those dudes? Like, yeah, she probably should have just picked up and said, I'm not coming back. Screw you guys. I'm mailing the uh, the contract, and you should get it soon. Like, I get if she did that, but for them to just go, she's in trouble because she hasn't contacted us. Uh, we're men. Let's solve the problem. Like, mm -hmm. I don't think so, bro. Can't talk to him. And can't talk to him. A lot of wood there. Weird vehicle. <laughs> Lots of wood. That is weird a weird vehicle. It is a weird vehicle. Looks like there's a hamster that should run in here. Okay. Oh, nothing to do here just yet, I guess. Oh, it's Malka. Do you like your candies then? Not bad. Do you know who could show me how this coal machine works? No, it's an old machine, Kate Walker, and it smells. <laughs> I don't blame her for thinking that. Maybe there's someone who knows how this machine works? Not Circos. He's too small to press the button. <laughs> the Berghoff brothers, they must know. They know everything. But I don't like them. They are not nice. Good reason not to like them. Do you have any family, Melka? I'm big enough to take care of myself. Hey, don't get mad. It was just a question. And anyway, of course I've got family. Circos, he takes care of me. Because my mama, she's dead. Oh, man. Jeez. Yeah, I understand. No, you don't. You must be really rich, and you must have thousands of friends in America. So, what are you doing here, Kate Walker? I don't know. I'm miles from home, and I don't really know where I'm going. It's crazy. Yes, Kate Walker, but there are loads of people who don't know where they're going. And they are all crazy, too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to Siberia. That suits you as a destination? Hmm. If one day you return to America, you must take me with you, Kate. That's not how American immigration works, but sure, kid. And also, she's very perceptive for... What does she look like? Seven? Eight? I don't know, I can't tell. But, yeah. Why does everybody think Americans, all Americans, are rich? Like, you know, America has people that have struggles with money and poverty, too. Tell me, is Sirkos kind to you? Yes. Very. He is my friend. Has he been living in the village for long? When my ma and me came here, Circus looked after us. That was a long time ago, you know. A long time ago. Do you know a place called Siberia? It's a land. They talk about it in kid stories. It's so far away it probably doesn't exist anyway. 
From what I've heard, there's fields of blue grass as far as the eye can see. And mammoths. That's not right. Grass is green. Or yellow in the fall. Blue grass is silly. Either way is fine with me, Malka. You really are a strange lady, Kate Walker. I don't know. Bluegrass, I think, is a style of music as well. So don't be hating on people's style of music, Malka. Why do you say there are bad guys here? The Borgoff brothers are liars and thieves. And they're nasty and they smell. Especially <laughs> the little one that walks like a penguin. You shouldn't make fun of people, Malka. The big one isn't nasty, though. He's really stupid. A big dumb Yuki. <laughs> Kids really speak their minds, don't they? The Burgoff brothers could maybe give me a hand. Why not? They're as dirty and smelly as the machine you want to mend. I'm gonna see what I can find <laughs> further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. That's a nice burn for such a young kid. I really like how you can continue the conversation and then it'll go away and then there isn't much to say anymore. I like that. Um, that is a very big improvement from the first game, I think. Where you didn't know what was important, uh, whether you need to keep talking to them over and over again. Looks like you can't talk to this guy. Just checking around real quick. Don't mind me. So can't talk to these people. Hey. Is this a show? Oh, can't do anything with it right now. It probably needs something to fix it. Which we will get probably later. You're new in town? Talk to a bartender. Um... Good evening, sir. Good evening, milady, and welcome to the famous Circus Cabaret, haven of all known pleasures and human arts. How may I be of service to you? I've just arrived here. My name's Walker. Kate Walker. You have a charming little town. Uh, well, Miss Walker, allow me to wish you a charming sojourn in our charming town. Oh, I'm afraid I won't be around long. I've got to get going again soon. You know, Kate, after all of Siberia 1, don't jinx yourself by saying, yeah, it's, we're not only going to be here for a little bit. Mr. Sirkos, those horses on the stage are strangely familiar. Before, I had a performing monkey, but he died at the end of the fall. Climate here is too rough and tumble for intelligent animals. Without my monkey, my cabaret was a sham. But the show must go on, so I dug out these old automatons. Been pretty successful in their time. Let's get them back on stage, I said. It's their mechanism, though, very delicate to regulate, takes several hours. But I invite you, Miss Walker, to watch my new act, Horsebreaker to Mechanical Stallions. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, maybe Hans can fix it. Um, give me a moment, guys. Um, actually, I'll do it in a sec. Your clockwork horses, Mr. Sirkos. They look so like something a dear friend of mine might have made. Uh, maybe your dear friend is my dear friend. What's his name? Hans, Hans. Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg. Hans Vorlberg? Well, I never. It's been years since I've had any news of him. How's he going? Very well. We're traveling together. Oh, Miss Walker. Can you tell Hans to come up here? Make an old showman mighty happy. If he could turn a screwdriver to them, their clockwork horses. Because I don't know diddly about automatons. Sure, I'll pass on the message. But I can't promise he'll come. We're kind of short of time, Mr. Sirkos, you understand? Of course, of course, Miss Walker. But tell him anyway, would sure make my day. Well, yeah, we'll tell him. I, I don't know if 
He'll come down. I this feel like... This is one strange town you live in, Mr. Sirkos. We'll be the ones fixing Only it. Only folks come to this town are folks just passing through. Often as not, KG folk. Come here buying and selling or wheeling and dealing and having themselves a fine old time. After this town, there's nothing but snow, Miss Walker. Well, that gels with what the store manager, the uh, the colonel, told us. Mr. Sirkos, say, do a lot of trains pass through here? Not now. Of course, once upon a time, that line was quite a thoroughfare. Now, it's good as abandoned. People going to know you in town, Miss Walker. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. <laughs> oh, can't go upstairs. All right, well, I guess... Um, actually, first I'm going to save, and then I'm going to close Steam. No, I can't close Steam. Um, because I'm running the Steam version of Siberia. Um, but I think I can sign out of the friends list. Let me do that. I'm going to just save the game real quick. All right. I hopefully disabled the uh, the Steam interface for when uh, people on my friends list pop on and off. So let's go back and talk to Hans. See if he's willing to come and help the guy out. Maybe he'll just tell us, Oh yes, I remember that. There was a problem here. Here, take this part and that'll fix it. Hans Vorarlberg. Hello, Hans again. Here we are. Hans? Yes, Kate? Okay. So I find the coal, then we leave. Do hurry, Kate. See you later, Hans. Yes, see you later. Interesting. Uh, we couldn't tell Hans about uh, those horses. I guess we're just going to fix it somehow. Like I thought. Dang, they made Kate even thicker in this game. Not that I'm going to complain, but just a, it's just an observation. That other Dan, he knew what he was looking for. I can tell you that. But he gave it all up because he was a dum-dum. Okay, so there's two paths to go. Let's go this way. I think there's two paths. Oh, what's this? What is this? Out of luck. The can's empty. I'm going to um. see if I can find somewhere to fill it. All right. Ah, it prob this is probably for this generator. That's probably what's up. A petrol-driven generator. Now, where could I find some fuel? Exactly. Exactly. Let's see. And that's the ignition. Oh, there's no more gas. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. 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 How can it be so simple and people... Like, oh, it's too complicated, and all that. I work in IT, so maybe I do understand um, them not bothering telling people how it works. Oh, no. Okay, let's head this way. Birdies. Circus. All right, let's transition over. Ooh. Animated. Maybe this is where uh, those uh, brothers live. 
When it's short, right? Yep. Oh, honestly, oh, I mean to say, what, a, what is it this time? Shut it, right? You hulking jerry roll, or else you'll be answering to me. And what is it now? Good day, sir. Don't go in telling me. <laughs> what can I do for you, ma'am? Jeez, they, uh, they sound British. My name's Kate Walker. I just got here. A pretty little thing so far from home. Where are you from, lovebird? From... from New York. New York, eh? Hey, <laughs> well, I never... Are you travelling alone, ma'am? No, no, I'm travelling with two companions. I came by train. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> what does that mean? Sir, I'd like to... Look, we ain't got no time to waste with you, sugar mitts. Try not being quite so pushy. <laughs> You're starting to give me and my brother ideas, right? <laughs> mm. I see. Mm. Be a pity if something nasty happened to you, my little pouty lips. Whoa. <laughs> That's a threat if I ever heard one. Malka did say the, the short guy was the was the uh, the mean one, but they're both liars and thieves. I need coal for my train, but the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. I thought you might be able to sell me a bit of fuel. So, you're ready leaving? Sorry, we ain't got no gas. Ain't got no gas at all. But what's that motor noise behind you then? Oh, yeah. That works on electricity, see, miss? <laughs> and that Sh smoke works sure on electricity too? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. See, uh, what you see ain't your business, miss. Take care of your own backyard and leave me and my brother here to work. Yeah. Leave Igor and that. But I need some gas, that's all. We ain't got none. N O G A S. No gas. N O. No. Ga. Uh, no gas. No gas. <laughs> oh, he's simple, isn't he? Hey, sir, I really need some gas, and looks like you've got some here. Oh, patootie, don't know the meaning of no, as in, no, we ain't got none. No ga, uh, no ga. All right, well. I came by train and... So we sewn, me and my bro. Nice machine. No, really. <laughs> no Russian tin can, the baby, or no? Nice train, nice. Nice. Uh, yeah, actually, it belongs to one of my friends. You must be very rich, your friend, eh? <laughs> Doo -doo. Not really. He built the train to go looking for sight. Uh, I mean, to realize a kind of dream of his. Dream, you say? Hey, very interesting. What kind of dream needs a pretty train like that, eh? If it's not a personal question. Doo -doo. A childhood <laughs> dream. <laughs> Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> Doo -doo. <laughs> oh, but this guy's already thinking about stealing the train. You can tell. He's gonna try to steal it. If I it. don't get some gas, I can't get any coal, and my train is just going to stay here blocked in this station. And so what do you want from us? Seeing as you don't seem to want to help me. <laughs> you might have a point there, my flower. Goodbye now. No. Goodbye. All right, well, there goes that. Maybe there's another place we can get gas. Uh, not here. Interesting. I wonder what would have been over here. Okay, let's take a... Hmm. Do we just peek in? No, I guess not. Maybe the shopkeep will be able to sell us gas. Oh, the backgrounds are nicely animated too. They've got some stuff going on in the backgrounds here. That's a nice difference. Yes, Malka. See if she knows. 
She's a smart kid. Hi, Malika. You want to talk to me? To you, yes. Oh, cute kid. Malka, do you know anyone who has gas here? No, Kid Walker. You see, I need gas to get that coal contraption working. <laughs> Not me. I don't touch that machine. It smells. I'm going to see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. As you like, Kate Walker. I love how everyone just calls her Kate Walker. Weird vehicle. I wonder where that's going to come into play. Uh, let's check our inventory real quick. We've got empty can of gas, fish candy, small key, and coins. All right, let's check with the shopkeep again, see if he just happens to know if there's anybody that um, has gas. Maybe he has gas he can sell us. I doubt it, but I don't know. Saw a spider on that oak the, uh, barrel that was right here. Ugh. Colonel Emiliov. Ah, Miss Walker. Uh, Jerry can. The generator's dry. There's not a drop of gas. Not a drop of gas, huh? Hmm. That's strange. Because as far as I know, no one's ever used the coal dispenser. Luckily, I've got a jerry can. Is there somewhere I can fill it up, Colonel? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Have to wait for maintenance. They fill the generator from time to time. Yeah, I know. Next week, or the week after, or sometime next blue moon. <laughs> She's starting to get, like, a little bit of a mean streak. And, uh, you know what, Kate? I am very, very proud hmm. of you. A generator down below with some kind of coal-dispensing gizmo on top. Where will the technological revolution end? Oh, it's no more crazy than a clockwork locomotive that needs coal, my dear. That's... He's got a point there. Equal point. Colonel, you can't repair it, can you? I really need coal, you know? No, sorry. All that mechanical gubbins, motors, engines, not my thing. That's a maintenance job for a maintenance man. Right. I'll leave you to get on with your business, Colonel. Not much left to get on with. Let me hit up Oscar real quick. Did you see it that time? The little spider there? Ugh. Uh, yuck. Okay. Hello, Oscar. Hi there, Oscar. Good day to you, Kate Walker. Good day to you, Kate Walker. Sometimes I say to myself that it's all just a figment of my imagination. That Siberia is just a pie in the sky. You ask yourself the strangest questions, Kate Walker. I am particularly piqued that you question my reality for an instant, even more so that you question that of Mr. Forelberg. <laughs> I'm sorry, Oscar. That was dumb of me. What do you think about this stuff about mammoths, Oscar? Kate Walker, my place is not to pass comments on human dreams and utopia. My place is here in my place. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder. Yeah, he seems like he's got, like, a little bit of, uh, intelligence to At him. At the end of our journey, we're going to find Siberia, aren't we, Oscar? Kate Walker, please, I... I have not been designed to ask such questions. I am an automaton. <laughs> I know, Oscar. I get the picture. <laughs> nice. Nice. Oh, uh, nice. Are we about to leave, Oscar? As soon as you have found some coal, Kate Walker. See you later. See you, Kate Walker. Goodbye, Oscar. Thank you for talking to me, Kate Walker. Oh, I love how she's become a little snarkier. Ugh. Makes me proud, homegirl. Uh, let's see. Can we talk to you, Hans? Come on. Can you not go take a look at that automaton guy? Hans? Yes, Kate? No, nope, I guess not. I didn't even get a chance to 
uh, click for an op, uh, talking option, so... Hmm... Go back down. There's no, there's nothing else up here. We've talked to everybody. Exhausted all our dialogue options. Um, have we exhausted them with Malka? I'm pretty sure we have. Hi, Malka. You want to talk to me? To you, yes. Yeah. Okay. So, let's talk to this guy again. Circus. Yeah, none of these guys will talk. Hmm. Yeah, I can't talk to any of these guys. Mr. Sirkos? What can I do for you, miss? Mr. Sirkos, I really need to get some coal to continue my journey. But the generator that operates the coal dispenser has run out of gasoline. Sorry, my lovely. Here you will find the finest range of vodkas known to man. The sweetest distillations from the furthest flung corners of our Russian holy land. But vodka, of course, only stokes the heart and belly. No good for generator fuel. See you again sometime, Mr. Sirkos. Hope to see you back here to catch my horses in action. I guess that's all of his dialogue as well. Hmm. Something that goes here to make this thing run. I don't think we've got anything. I, I doubt that. Yeah, I didn't think so. And this wouldn't be... No, nah, I didn't think so either. There's a gear of some sort that goes on this. I'm sure of it. I wonder if it was there with Hans in the back of the train. I wonder. I don't think I saw anything in here. Let me check out the generator again. Maybe there's something that I missed. Uh, you know? Oh, bless you. A petrol-driven generator. Now, where could I find some fuel? Yeah, it's just those brothers, I think. The jerks. Is that a squirrel? Try this again. You again? Yes. Yep, little old me again. Mm-hmm. Gonna open? No? You again? Yep, little old me again. Uh third time's the charm? You again? Yep, little old me again. Guess not. <laughs> that, uh, that would have been funny if that actually was what we needed to do, just do it three times. <laughs> Can you even imagine? Ah, uh, okay. Uh, I'm not finding anything. Oh, I didn't see this earlier. Circus Romansburg. Can I not take this? Oh, I can take it off. Yep. And we can just head on in. Are we just going to take the gas?
What? A doggo? It's a beer! Hey, no! No! Ah! You clam brain blubber bag! Wait till I catch you! <laughs> yeah, run, little guy, run. Uh, let me see if there's anything worth taking. I mean, if we're get, if we're already gonna be here to steal, we may as well steal. You know what I mean? Okay, let's take the gas. Swap a Rooney. Yep, I can hear the gas in it. Very nice. Yuck, this machinery stinks to high heaven. Yeah, Malka was right. Got it. something else in here? Maybe you stole a part for the, uh, the mechanical horses? Excuse me, sir? Are you sleeping? He's nice, but I, uh, uh, he's slow, uh, right? Uh, what do you want? I've got a little something to say to your brother. Uh, Ivan, he, uh, leave me all alone here. My brother, uh, abandoned me. God, how I pity you, Igor. Dumb animal! All the cash it might have brought me gone up in smoke! The... There is Ivan. Ivan will be happy to see you. You know good... Go, Missy. Yeah, we're gone. We're out of here. You let the Yankee leave? You are a Yuki brain, Igor. A lunch sack Yuki brain. <sighs> that was a close call. <laughs> yeah, let's get going before he decides to come after us. Alright, let's go and fill up the generator. Okay. Jerry can goes into the generator. Add the fuel, girl. There you go. Plop. Turn it on. Let's go get uh, some coal. Nope, further down. Here, over here. Let's give this another go. There it is! We've got the coal. Kate Walker! Kate Walker! Something terrible has happened! Calm what down, happened? Oscar. What's happened? Mr. Forelberg has disappeared! What? what? He was in the train, and now he isn't! Don't uh. panic, Oscar. He can't have gotten far. I'll go and round him up. He is not in the best of health, Kate Walker. And it is so cold! I know, I know, but calm yourself down. I'll go and look for him right away. I know what happened to him. The little guy, while I was running it off, he he went and kidnapped Hans. That's got to be what happened because uh, he was getting all, oh, hey, you must be rich. So that must be what he did. Hi, Oscar. Oh, please, Kate Walker, do be quick. I wanted to get to see if you had any, like, you know, first-hand encounters or, or um, descriptions. I mean, let me just go inside and see if uh, there's any clues to his whereabouts. And while we're in here, we can see if there's a gear or something that might fit the uh, automaton horses. Yeah, 
I can't grab any of these gears off this workshelf. And it appears that there are no signs of struggle. Although, this right here kind of looks like a blood stain. I hope that's not it. It's, pro it's probably just oil or grease or something for his uh, cog wheels and stuff. Yeah, okay. Let's leave. Try to find him real quick. We don't want him to catch cold. That could be the death of him. Uh, can't talk to him, I guess. Putting up those posters. Malka, have you seen anybody come by? Would you have a second you could spare? Oh, so you're still here then? Malka, yeah, what Hans? have you seen my friend Hans? He's not in great shape. I've got to find him. The little man? Yes, I've seen him. He's kind. He told me about mammoths and faraway places. <laughs> so you have seen Hans. Where is he? He went to Circo's place. He said, I'm just going to drop in on an old friend. Aww. I'm going to see what I can find further on. Thanks, Malka. I As guess, you like, Kate Walker. I guess we didn't have to uh, encourage him to go. He just went on his own. All right. Just wanted to see an old pal. How often do you come out this way? Bro, what's wrong? Oh no! Oh no! No, what How's happened? It going? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. What happened? It's not his fault. He's delirious. How's it going? Your brother's a good-for-nothing imbecile, Anna. You hear me? A feeble idiot! Dude... Oh my god... Did, tho did those... Did those brothers do something to him? The big guy wanted to get up and, and help, maybe? But the, the small one told him to sit down. What's going on? Kate Walker! What does all this mean? I don't know, Oscar. Hans has had a kind of fit, a kind of delirium. His health isn't exactly 100% right now. Why, that's simply awful, Kate Walker. We must do something. Things cannot go on like this. Please, calm down. I'll see what I can do. Okay, Kate Walker, but do hurry. Ah, oh, jeez. They must have done something to to Hans, and like caused his sickness to happen. And maybe they're, they're gonna ransom the antidote, or the treatment for whatever they gave him. That's my thought. Let's go talk to uh, Circos and see if he has any info for us regarding what happened to Hans. Yeah, Malka wasn't there, so she may not have any idea what happened. Bro, talk to me. What happened? What happened? Howdy, Mr. Sirkos. Good day to you, Miss Walker. How's our friend Hans Vorlberg coming along? Uh, not great news. Ah, well, if I can be of service. Whatever you require, don't hesitate to shout. Uh, yeah, is there a doctor? Mr. Sirkos, you wouldn't know someone who could treat Hans Varlberg, would you? Oh, not many pill pushers around here. 
guess there's always the monks. The monks, monks, you say? People around here say the patriarch of the monastery has healing powers. They also say he's a dingling, a bit of a fanatic, if you know what I mean. Well, uh, whatever. I have no choice. Okay. Mr. Sirkos, I'm worried about Hans's health. Yeah, me Dang, too. It's all my fault. Never should have asked him to do me that favor. What do you mean, favor? No major work or anything, just to get my wind-up Broncos back in again. Oh, don't blame yourself. Hans was already ill before he came to see you. You've got nothing to do with it. Exacerbated the issue, maybe, Kate. Mr. Sirkos, could you please introduce me to the Patriarch of the Monastery? Hmm, want my opinion. Best stay right away. But we've got no oh, options. Why is that? Have you ever heard a showman and a priest sing a duet together? They think my cabaret is a den of debauchery, and that I'm a funky old miscreant luring lambs from the altar. Oh. Really, Mr. Sirkos, we're not in the 19th century anymore. But we're not too far here, Miss Walker. Believe me, best I don't put my finger in that pie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm immature. I don't I don't care. Do the monks have a telephone? Uh, they don't even have electricity. You'll have to go up there in person, Miss Walker. Then try to convince them to take care of your friend. No, maybe that's how that uh that machine is used for. How it do you get up thing. to the monastery? When you go out of here, turn right. You can't miss it. Thanks mm. a lot. I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker, and good luck. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. So while we're gone, those brothers must... They must do whatever thing that they're going to do. That must be when it happens. Yeah, over this way. I think we take this... weird vehicle I guess not he said when oh he said go right this is left it's it's right for me because it's right here from the screen but to the right from his point of view exiting it's up this way okay never mind okay I guess we'll just keep going right. Up, oh, they fixed it. All right, here we go. <sighs> it's really a bit too cold. Yeah, I mean, you're not wearing any any coat or anything, Kate. That that would generally be the case. What's this? Uh, open? Oh. Can't open. Don't got this key. Thinks. Hmm. Alright, can't do anything, anything about that right now, so let's move on. <sighs> it's really a bit too cold. I'll be needing some warm clothes. I'll be needing some warm clothes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Is that is this supposed to be a blanket or something? I don't know. Obviously, we can't progress further. Uh, there's the monastery, but in the background there. It's been barricaded. These folks don't like people just dropping in uninvited. Then again, Kate, I think that's generally the case for many people. I know I don't want anybody dropping by uninvited. Maybe the uh, the store manager has some clothes, or uh, maybe Kate can finally open her suitcase, her luggage. Hopefully, she brought something um, warm with her. Let's see. 
We'll talk to the store manager first. Because when Kate initially came, she went to Valla de Len. And it, it was only slated to be a few days, so she may have not um, brought any clothing that would have been able to keep her warm. I know I said I'd talk to the the store manager, but uh, yeah, I guess not. No? Okay. Let's go talk to the store manager then. Maybe he's got some clothing for us. Hello, bro. Colonel, please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? I want to go up to the monastery, but it's so cold outside. Would you have some warm clothes to loan me? Maybe so. I might find what you want up in the attic. I'll get the ladder out. I'll pay ah. you for what I use, of course. Don't you worry, Kachuchka. You're a true ray of sunshine in this dusty old shop. Aww. And we don't see sunshine here every... That's sweet, old man. You'll find something that'll fit you in the attic, I'm sure. Very nice of him. He could have easily been like, yeah, what? how much do you got? But he didn't. So, you know, maybe there's something to this town after all. You know, some, some decent folk. Um. Oh, I hope the game didn't crash. Oh, come on, no, please. All right, uh, so welcome back. Uh, the game didn't finish loading the last time I was here, so I had, I don't know. I, I don't even know how long it was, but um, I had to redo from my last save. I'm glad I saved to try to close the, the Steam interface warning so that I had something to come back to, so let's give Colonel, this another please, go. please, can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? I want no. to go up to the monastery, but it's so cold outside. Would you have some warm clothes to loan me? Maybe so. I might find what you want up in the attic. I'll get the ladder out. I'll pay you for what I use, of course. Don't you worry, Kachuchka. You're a true ray of sunshine in this dusty old shop. And we don't see sunshine here every... Alright, so hopefully this loads this time. You'll Fing find something that'll fit you in the attic, I'm sure. Fingers crossed. There oh, you go, miss. Ah, I can't climb up there anymore. Alright, I'm glad it loaded this time. I don't know what happened the last time. But let's uh, let's continue on with the game. She's still not climbing the correct way. Oh, mouse! What have we got around here? Oop, clothing. Now, where to find some place appropriate to slip into this? The bathroom. Uh, what's the bike doing all the way up here? It's nice that we get a, n a new change of attire. That's cool. Oh, wait. Let's talk to him, see if he has anything for... Colonel, please, options. can you help me? What can I do for you, Miss Walker? Would you have something to treat a fever? My friend is sick. I'm sorry. I sold my last pills last week. To whom? There's nobody here, man. Is there a doctor around here? Or a pharmacy or something? Around these parts? That would surprise me. They say the monks up there can patch a man up. At least people around here go up there sometimes. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. The pleasure is all mine, Miss Walker. Indubitably. Yeah, you know, at first I wasn't sure about him, I liked him, and then... I wasn't sure about him again because of, like, he seemed very elitist. But now he seems like decent folk. I think. Okay, I'm 
go in here and change. At last, a bit of privacy for toasty and Ooh. not unelegant. Yeah, you're looking stylish, Kate. Very nice. Ooh, I really love that. Knee high boots, too. Ooh, yes. Looks nice and warm and comfy and toasty. Glad for you, Kate. You got something nice. Excuse me. Okay. Let's get on this journey. Now that we're dressed appropriately. You know, with a with a new game, it does make sense that like you get a new outfit. Oh, and she got goggles too or something? Huh. Interesting. Let's... Ring-a-ling. Ahoy! What? No? Bro. Not cool. Let's try this again. You be you be courteous this time. Hello? Jeez. What, you want an offering or something first? Alright, let's go around. See what we can find. Why can it never be easy? Uh... There is... nothing? Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anything going on around here. Achoo. Oh, bless you, Kate. I know it's cold, but we're doing what we can, okay? One more time. Third time's the charm. It wasn't, but... Alright, let me go go into town and ask about, ask around about this. Maybe they they have an idea of what's going on that I don't know. Maybe you need to bring them like a signal flare or maybe you need to get something from here. But I don't even know how you would open this. This thing's It seems as though you need a key or some sort. Can we use this? No. Okay. Uh, the coins? Nope. Hmm. It's gotta come into play later. I know it. But let's just... Let's ask around town about what's... What we've got going on here. Maybe somebody can tell us. Maybe there's, like, a secret handshake or something. Don't need the goggles anymore, Kate. Uh, I don't think that I will be very well received. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you would say. I don't think you'd be well received either, but I just wanted to know. You know? You know, Malka's been very helpful. Maybe we can ask her. Malka? Yes, Kate? My friend Hans is very sick. He needs taking care of. Oh, otherwise he's going to die, isn't he? 
like Mama? I don't know. He wants to get to the end of his journey so badly. Sometimes that is not enough, Kate. That is truth beyond her years. Since he was really young, Hans has dreamed of a land called Siberia. Siberia doesn't exist. It's just a story they tell kids to make them sleep. And I'm no kid anymore. I believe the story though, Malka. So, you're going to have to help your friend, Kate. Yeah, we are going to try to help him. Tell me, do you know anyone who could help heal my friend Hans? Zirkos has special tonics in his bar. No, I need a real doctor. Then you'll have to go to the monastery. I suppose there are monks at the monastery. That's right. Monks with big black robes. They're really creepy. There's nothing to be afraid of. As monks, they must be good men. And you tell me they can treat Hans? That's just the an assumption. The patriarch is a stern old man. He won't treat your friend if you don't follow the monastery rules. Well, what How are do the you rules? know that, Malka? He wouldn't look after Mama straight away. Because of the rules. That's why she's dead. I'm sorry, Malka. Dang. So you must know the rules, then. Tell me. How is it going? I guess not. But the dude in here seemed to have known about the monastery. Maybe he's got an idea of what the rules are. Mr. Sirkos? What can I do for you, miss? Tell me, Mr. Sirkos. It was you who took in that little girl Malka into your care, wasn't it? I just couldn't bear to leave a little girl like that. What happened to her mother? Oh, a gypsy woman fleeing God knows what monkey business. She got here half dead and crazed with fever. The Damn. monks helped her, isn't that right? Uh, you could say that. When they stopped being high and mighty, they took her up to their monastery for treatment. But it was far too late for the poor girl. Them old crows make up their own rules. They'd leave a man to rot rather than get their habits dirty. I don't like him one bit, Miss Walker. What rules are you talking about? It's a phony old custom. To decide whether a dying man is actually dying at all, the patriarch of the monastery looks at the patient's face before deciding yay or nay. What? But how? I don't understand. They kind of make this print of the face on a piece of cloth, you know, like the shroud of Jesus in the Bible. What? That is ridiculous. It's colder than the North Pole out there, Mr. Sirkos. Do I have to go up to the monastery on foot? There isn't some other form of transportation? Don't even think about it, Miss Walker. Only pony can make it up there is Shank's pony. You're going to have to use your feet, I'm sorry to say. I must confess I don't really understand this shroud story. That we need to you get a shroud. See, just oh, outside one of the, the village. The monks have put this kind of iron box. A box containing a pile of linen sheets. When you put one of these sheets over the face of the sick man, it has the curious property of soaking up all his sweat and juices. So effective it is that all the features of his face can be seen on the cloth. We need that. And so the old patriarch looks to this print to form his diagnosis? At least what he can judge is whether that face on the shroud is sick enough to get dragged up those rocks to the monastery and be treated by him. I suppose anybody can take a cloth from the crate if he needs it? You suppose wrong, Miss Walker. One person has charge of the distribution of the said shrouds, and that's Malka. She sure is proud of her position. The Patriarch himself gave her the responsibility, and that kid ain't giving it up for no man, believe me. I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker, and good luck. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkos. That is a weird way to determine whether or not someone gets help. Good thing we've been, we've been in good graces with Malka. I was afraid he was going to say it was one of those brothers. That wasn't going to happen for us. Tell me. How is it going? We need... He One told me linens. why they couldn't treat her at the monastery. Yes, Kate. Sometimes, 
people get too sick and there's nothing that can be done. Is your friend too sick? I hope he isn't. I'm going to help you, Kate. Yes, please. Can you help me, Malka? Hmm. Only if your friend is a little bit sick. Not too much or you'll be sad. We'll see. Let's give it a try, you know? Like for your mother, with the monks. On the road to the monastery, there's a kind of box with sheets. The monks call them shrouds. I'm going to give you a token so you can get one. It's very important, Kate Walker. Yes. And then what do I do with this shroud? Take it and lay it over your friend's face. <sighs> okay, I'll give it a try. We'll do anything at this point. Thank you, little girl. Thank you for your help. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. Oh, That's so sweet. But yeah, I really like Kate too. Uh, she's She's been a very well-written character. I'm I'm really hoping Hans makes it through this. I'm thinking so cuz this is the only the beginning part of the game. So Oh man. Can you imagine Kate just goes on by herself for the rest of the ga the game? Oh. That sucks. There's the token. Pull this. And let's grab a shroud. Too bad we can't grab more than one. But it is what it is. Gotta be um gotta be fair to everyone else in case they need it to. Alright now let's go get back to haunts. I'm thinking they're gonna think he's sick enough to actually be treated. Otherwise, what else is going to happen? How else do we get Hans some help? Alright, it's been a few minutes, so I'm actually going to save the game right now. Safety save, just in case. I don't want to go another hour and then not save, and then the game crash on me again. The first game, I never had this problem at all. If, uh, if I clicked out of the game or um, out of the window that the game was running in, then that was an issue, but uh, but that was easily rectified with the load, uh, save and load, but the game just didn't load at all that time. I don't know. So this makes an imprint of his face, and uh, we're going to send that up to the monastery. Hopefully they'll say, oh yeah, you can see his face right there. That's crazy. We really need to get him some help. I'm feeling really bad for the dude right now. Let's get a move on, Kate. I'm so uh, like I said, I'm so glad we were very uh, nice to Malka, because she's been very helpful. More helpful than anyone in between the two games in the series so far. Yeah, I think she's been the most helpful. Okay, we finally have a shroud. Let's bring it up to the monastery. They'll take a look at it and... What, what? What the heck was that? How do I send you the shroud, guy?
Huh. Oh. Are you the dude? Excuse me. I'm sorry to disturb you, uh, sir? Blessed art thou, my sister. What can I do for you? Um, my name is Kate Walker, and my train is currently at the station in Romansburg. Oh, oh, Romansburg. Pretty town, but not the kind of town for pretty strangers. Pretty, solitary strangers. <laughs> Whoa. I don't intend to hang around long, brother. You sound like a creeper. I'm traveling with an old man. Hans Vorlberg, and... <laughs> Vorlberg? Did you say Vorlberg, my sister? You know him? No. <laughs> but I know someone else. What? You... You sound crazy. <sighs> ah, can you hear? It is the sweet song of the Merula Alba. If only I could catch a glimpse. Such a rare, pretty bird. Few are they who say in truth they have spied her beauty. <laughs> it is probably seeking some other Merula Alba. Probably? My friend is very ill, you know. It is God's will. God's will. <laughs> what can I do, my sister? What can I do? Maybe you could visit him at his bedside. That would help. Oh, 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 never, my sister, never. I would incur the wrath of our lord and patriarch. <laughs> so he's not the patriarch. You live in the monastery, I suppose. That is right, my sister. <laughs> Are there many of you up there? A few old monks. <laughs> few are those who heed the calling in this age. Tell me. What have we got to do to get into the monastery? You must pull the rope that rings the bell, my sister, but not too hard, or you will scare the birds. Don't scare them. A monk will show you in. Thank you. Oh, you gotta do it softly. Um, I rang the bell, but the monk at the door doesn't seem to want to show me in. There are rules. Rules and traditions to respect here. Respect. Yes. I thought that. What rules? What traditions? That some people are less worthy than others. What the hell is okay. this? So how does that monk up there make an opinion about my worthiness by just looking at me? It, it, is, it is not a question to ask, my sister. Because you're a woman, isn't it? You're telling me that I'm not worthy to enter your monastery? I didn't say. No. I just... I just wash dirty laundry, that's all. <laughs> yes, you did say that. You implied I wasn't worthy. That's right. Femina inconcessus. <laughs> what? I don't understand Latin. I knew enough that Latin, he said feminine. Like birds. Erythacus rubicula. Picus viridis. Merula alba. Dude... I'm looking for someone with a medical background. Someone who can tend to the sick. Our patriarch is a remarkable doctor, my sister. He cures bodies as well as souls. <laughs> well, help me you out. You couldn't help me, could you please? I am but a simple monk. You have to go see our patriarch yonder in the monastery. You say that I could find someone to help me. Up there, at the monastery. Yes! At the monastery, oh yes! <laughs> Creepy. You speak Latin, then. Oh, monk's Latin. Pigeon Latin. Pig Latin. You seem to know the Latin names of birds. <laughs> pretty birds. Pretty birds. Okay, let's ask what is a Marula there. Alba? A rare bird. <laughs> it can never be seen as it is as white as snow. They say that when a man sees it, his mind clears and his intelligence grows and grows. All right, how is that helpful? 
There seem to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. Okay, that's good for you. I rang at the monastery, but there was no reply. Maybe they don't want to let me in. Can you tell me, is there another way in? There is no other way, my sister. <laughs> Why won't they let me into the monastery? Dura Lex said Lex. <laughs> I'm sorry? What? The law is hard, but it is the law, my sister. <laughs> what law? I don't like questions, my sister. The law is the law is the law. Well, I am the law. I must absolutely find a doctor for my friend. I just do the laundry, my sister, that is all. Down here, there are some doctors, and others do the laundry. You are going to make me late. The birds. Do you hear? It is the Merula Alba again. Picus Beridis? Woodpecker. How about Erythacus rubicula? Robin red breast. And Merula alba? White raven, my sister. White raven. Femina inconsusus? Women. Forbidden. <laughs> uh, now, right. I get it because yeah. I'm a woman. I I'm knew forbidden it. access to the monastery. I knew now it. Now I understand. That's the rule, sister. I can't change the rules. Wow. Of course, brother. Women are the source of all sin. Isn't that so? Wow. God dang it. Hey. Hi. You were taking advantage of all last game because you're a woman, and here it is. Women forbidden. Why won't uh, you help me? I must finish my chores before even song, my sister. I'm going now. I'll be back soon. What? Jeez. These monks are total jerkwads, man. Women forbidden. Huh. So, you're a woman, you're in trouble. They're just like, screw off, we don't care. Jerks. He's like, you're a woman. Nope. Sorry. Jeez. All right, so now we got to go find a man to help us out. And I don't think... I'm going to check, but I don't think Circos would, would be willing to help us. He was... Uh, very adamant that they wouldn't they wouldn't like to talk to him at all so maybe we need to talk to uh, the colonel again maybe I'm not sure but let's check with circles first Malka helped us already but She's a girl. What are they going to do with that? She's still not a man. Hi, Mr. Sirkos. What can I do for you, miss? Man, that mentality really sickens me. Like, w w what if they, like, oh, you know, the, it was all women left because all the men went to war or something. And, you know, they're, they're not, they're just not going to help anybody. Tell me, how is it going? Uh, terrible. Just terrible, this the, the way the people of this town. Right. Let's ask the colonel here. 
Alright, I'm actually gonna save real quick. Actually, uh, I think this video has gone long enough. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end it here. Um, I've been really glad to be back in the world of Siberia, and I think it's really awesome that the UI, the the user interface, has like uh, icicles and stuff that are forming now because we're way out in the cold now. I think that's a nice touch. Um, I'm I'm hoping that the kernel can help us that help Hans. Otherwise, the only other uh, male I can think is to bring Oscar with us, but he doesn't want to go out in the cold. But maybe he'll make an exception because this is for Hans as maker. So I don't know. Uh, we'll see in the next episode, though. But until then, bye.